in our students, let's see the different types of nouns. So there are basically two types of nouns: common nouns and proper nouns. Let's see the proper noun first. A proper noun is a specific name. It is a general, it is a specific name of a person, place, or thing. Specific name of a person, a place, or a thing. And is always capitalized. It is most important that you must know that it must be capitalized. Either it is in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Anywhere it is placed, it should be capitalized. So this is called the proper noun. Its examples are just like Lahore, Turkey, White House, Charlie, Duvar. So these words are specific words and these must be written in capital letter. You must be knowing that uh, we have to write these letters in capital. So far as if we talk about the common noun, so common noun is the generic name. The general name is a generic name of an item in a class or group and is not capitalized it is not capitalized unless appearing at the beginning of a sentence or in a title so two condition generally it is not capitalized its first letter is not capitalized other than two conditions these two conditions are what these two conditions are if you are beginning the sentence with this common name or it is the title in any sentence. In these two conditions you can write it in capital. Otherwise generally it is written in small letters. Just like a glass, table, voice, bird. These are general name, common name. That's why they are not used in capital. Now let's see the types of proper noun. Proper names, these are the proper names include specific people, places, days, days of the week, brands and titles. So these are the types of proper nouns. Now just like the names, number one, these are basically seven types of proper nouns. Names, these are the proper names include people or pets name. People just like James, just like Alia, just like Arsalan. So these are the specific people, or pet's name, or you can say um, German Shepherd, like these, or any pet name you can say to uh, anyone. Uh, so these are the specific names and can be are considered in proper noun. Number two, titles of people. Titles of people like Allama Iqbal, qaid e azam These are, Allama is not, it is a general name. However, when it is given as a title, then it can be, it is used as capital. And qaid e azam is also a title. So you have to use it as a capital letter, so as a proper noun. Number three, places. Specific places, countries, states, cities. Iraq. Venus, Food Street, Food Street, or any particular place names. Then appears the calendar days. You know the calendar days, months, or days of a week. For example, July, May, September, December, January, March. Any month's name, it should be capitalized and the specific names. Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all should be capitalized. These are the calendar days. Holidays. Particular holidays on which people use holidays, speeches are there, different occasions are there. Eid days, Labor Day, Independence Day or Defense Days. These are the holidays particularly categorized in the state types of proper noun. Then there comes brand and company names. Different kind of brands, people use different kind of brands, their things just like Bonanza, Charcoal, Vintage, specific brands, it should be capitalized being proper name. Titles of works, these are just like some artwork, uh, publications like the news, bowl, junk, 
ARY, Pride and Prejudice. These kind of names are specific names and the titles of works. So these are the specific seven types of proper nouns. There are particular places where you have to use proper noun, but not all the at all the places. Just like I, when you are referring it to yourself, that I am a boy. Either it is in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end, you have to use it as a capital. I is not a proper noun. It is not a proper noun. All right, but it is always capitalized. It's a pronoun. Adjectives. Just like I want a French croissant. So here, French. It is an adjective quality. Here you have to use F French. F is a capital. However, if you are referring to French fries or at other places, then it will not be used because these are limitations, particular limitations. That's why you don't have to use um, all the words in capital. Other capital names are just like some deities like God, Mom, your personal. You are saying to your mom, your dad, your uncle. That place you have to use it as a capital. West Coast, North Pole, capitalized. Boy Scouts, so Muslim League, Congress, Industrial Revolution, or Stone Age, or Renaissance. So these are specific places where you have to use them in capital. All right. Okay, now let us discuss the types of common noun. Earlier we have already discussed the types of proper noun. Now let's see the types of common nouns. See, there are the types of common nouns just like concrete noun, abstract noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, possessive nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns, compound nouns. So these are basically the types of common noun. Now let's see them one by one. Concrete noun. And these are something that is perceived by the senses. We have five senses. We can perceive it with the help of our senses. Something that is physical <coughs> or real. So these are real things or physically we can see or touch them. Just like bus, moon, box, marker, board, like these things I can see. Right? So these things are concrete nouns. Next is abstract noun. Abstract nouns like these are converts of concrete noun. Conversely, an abstract noun is something that cannot be perceived by the senses. Cannot be perceived by the senses. Physically, you cannot touch. You can imagine it's like truth, loyalty, fear, love, hate. These kind of things are considered in abstract noun. Next is collective noun. Collective noun, it denotes a group or collection of people or things. Just like a pride of lines, heap of rubbish, these kind of groups and collection are called the collective nouns. Okay, now let us discuss about the countable nouns. What are the countable nouns? Nouns that can be counted. Even if the number might be extraordinarily high. The number might be extraordinarily high. Like counting all the people in the world. If you count all the people in the world, this is countable. Countable nouns can be used with A and the some any, a few, and many. So with the, these kind of words, you can use countable nouns. There is a book, a book. Here are a few cats, a few cats. Here are some apples, some apples. These are countable nouns. All right. So now let's discuss some uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are the nouns that come in a state or quantity. 
which is impossible to count. We cannot count. It's like liquid, milk, oil, water. We cannot count them. Just like we can count these kind of nouns. They are always considered to be singulars. They are always considered singulars. Alright? Singulars. And can be used with some, some water. Any, a little, and much. For example, an IQ test measures intelligence. Intelligence cannot be counted. Alright? So, these kind of uncountable nouns are a type of nouns. These are one, a bit different from the countable nouns. Basic difference, the thing that can be counted and the thing that cannot be counted. Let's have some of the examples of countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, now let's see some of our parts of speech of possessive nouns. What are possessive nouns? These are the nouns which possess something. They contain something. They have something. They can identify a possessive noun. You can identify a possessive noun by the apostrophe. So the important thing for your understanding is there is an apostrophe. Right? Most nouns show the possessive with an apostrophe and an S. So two things. An apostrophe and S. These two things tell you about the possessive nouns. For example, the baby's doll is beautiful. Here you see apostrophe is there. Alright, so this is the possessive noun. Further, we see into the depth of the possessive noun when a singular noun ends in the letter S. Singular noun. When a singular noun ends in the letter S or Z. The same format often applies. Now, I have been invited to the boss's house for dinner. Alright, so S is here with the apostrophe. Now, with the help of different examples, you can easily identify and understand where you have to make use of apostrophe and S. Alright? There are some singular nouns and plural nouns. Now let's see what are the singular nouns. Singular nouns are the nouns that refer to only one person. Counting by one. One person or thing. For example, a house, an orange, an apple, a glass. So these are referring to single thing. They are singular nouns. So far as we are talking about the plural nouns, the nouns that refer to more than one of something. 2, 3, 4, 100 or many. So, if they become plural, so singular will convert B into Bs. Country, one country. And we are talking about the plural noun that it will be converted into countries. Class, classes. Bus, buses. So, the plural is the addition of S or ES. Singular and plural noun. Now, let's see what are regular plurals and what are irregular plurals. Some of the examples are there. Just like houses, cats, countries, girls. These are just regular plural. So far as we are talking about the irregular plural nouns, you see, we are not adding S with them. In irregular plural nouns, we are not adding S into it. Rather, man, men, wolf, wolves. The conversion is there. Though S is there, however, wolves are converted into V-E-S. Foot, feet. Mouse, mice, tooth, teeth. So, this kind of nouns in plural form are called irregular plural nouns. So, this is the last one of the nouns, parts of speech, compound noun. Compound noun, these are the nouns combined two or more words into one. We are joining together words into one, making a noun, a compound noun. Compound nouns can appear as a single word. Multiple words can also be there. Used separately or words connected by hyphens. There will be hyphens. Connected words can be connected. Or a single, maybe representing a single word. 
dry cleaning hyphen jack in the box hyphen toothpaste joining together haircut ice cream output together potato chips gas so this way these are the compound nouns all right so they are joining different words together in a noun form all right so these are the total examples of noun you see i have explained to you different examples and different um, definitions what are the different types of nouns which are described in the video thank you and have a nice day